Jerry here from the Pucks Giving Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a Divine Masculine reading for May the 21st until the 29th, 2017. So I'm going to be using the Fairy uh, Tarot by Lenormand for the main energy. I will be doing a split Divine Partnership reading. Uh, so this will be solely focused on the masculine aspect. So you can be both. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're feminine or masculine. Whichever side you relate to would be, um, you know, whatever resonates with you is meant for you. Okay, so I will also be using my cards as well for clarifiers. So I'll pull um, three per position for that as well. Okay, that's good enough. So, beginning with how the masculine views the relationship. Home. Oh my god, that's beautiful. So he feels you like you are home to him. Uh, he feels he can be his true self, his true authentic self, and he won't be judged. Um, so, you know, this card represents all the good feelings of home, safety, security, uh, grounding, energy. Ace of Swords, Nine of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. So the Ace of Swords represents success and victory, but it also represents making a decision. Uh, so standing in truth, grounding an idea into the 3D world. Um, but it, you know, the sword also cuts away barriers, darkness, fear, and it's mental clarity. So the masculine has made a decision uh, about the relationship and he um, is using his heart to guide him in his truth as well. Um, so the Nine of Cups is wish granted card. The feminine got this on her side for the Twin Flame reading. Um, so this again means wish granted but it also represents an arrival. So it's a point where you're um, able to do the things that you enjoy in life. So it represents emotional abundance and arrival. So this could be, you know, um, going to restaurants, going on trips, um, but just really living life to its fullest potential. And the Knight of Swords could either represent an air sign, but this is someone who comes and speaks their truth. So he's a champion. Um, He's the rebel without a cause in that it's kind of like chaotic energy, like the wind. Uh, but he comes in, he fights for justice and truth, um, and he's willing to sit down and talk to you. So it's a movement forward. The night is a moving forward energy. So he feels home when he thinks of uh, the feminine. And he feels his heart chakra is open and exploding and... Um, he wants to feel that all the time, so he wants to move forward. Uh, he's made that decision to move forward and, um, you know, get, you know, that, that final cup. She holds the, the, the last ace of cups. This is a nine of cups, so ten of cups represents emotional bliss. Uh, so she holds that other cup. Okay, so what are you resisting? So this card represents an ending, or it could also represent harvest. Uh, so it's a completion of a cycle, 10, reduces to 1, so there's a new beginning after this. Um, so you're resisting putting an end to something. 7 of Wands, um, victory and success again, and the Queen of Wands. She always makes me laugh. Okay, so the Seven of Wands represents um, standing up, speaking your mind, finding strength and courage in order to do the things that you desire. Um, so you're resisting fully committing to this sole purpose. Um, the Six of Wands represents success and victory. So this is, uh, you know, 
being a rock star. You're being illuminated. You're putting, being placed on a pedestal. People are proud of you and see you as an example. And also, these two hearts also represent being on the, the right path spiritually. Uh, the Queen of Wands um, represents a woman who is fiery, passionate. Um, you know, she is a spiritual um, card as well. So this is all fire energy, which, ha which has to do with your spirituality. Uh, so the Queen of Wands is someone who is unchained. She's um, free. Um, she's independent. She she is a leader, um, and yeah, she represents your passions, your desires. So you're put. You are. Um, resisting putting an end to something which will ultimately set you free on this path of um, you know your true higher calling um, which ultimately leads to the divine feminine so this could represent a fire sign but ultimately all queens represent the feminine all masculine uh, all sorry all, all the kings represent uh, masculine queen feminine uh, so I see like a path being traveled or an understanding of how this connection illuminates you, rises you to higher levels of consciousness. But again, you're resisting putting an end to something, even though you've made a mental decision to move forward. Uh, your message from your higher self, knowledge, book, wisdom, eight of cups. Whoa. King of Pentacles, hold on. Cards are extra slippery today. Okay, that's just too many cards, uh, so I'm going to put them back in the deck. But we got the uh, Nine of Wands, uh, which is the Wounded Warrior. The Four of Pentacles represents being closed off or holding on too tightly. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles is that long-term goal in the 3D. And then the Seven of Swords represents um, feeling like you're going to be deceived, like you can't trust uh, somebody in your environment. Okay, so just one card, Spirit, please. Ten of Swords. Okay, so your higher self is telling you to use your wisdom that you've gained, your knowledge um, regarding spirituality, and just, you know, your trials and tribulations that you've been through on this life journey in order to make decisions and see things clearly. Um, the Eight of Cups. You got this in, I believe, was the present position for the Twin Flame reading. I can't remember, but it's a decision uh, to walk away. Uh, or was it in your past position? I can't remember. Um, so you made a decision to walk away. And, um, you know, in terms of uh, the mental state, an emotional state, you made that decision. And you want to... Um, make that a reality in the 3D. Okay, that's what this King of Pentacles represents. So um, this is moving away from an emotionally abusive, emotionally draining situation. So it's a pilgrimage uh, in sur search of self, in search of uh, meaning. Uh, the King of Pentacles uh, could represent an earth sign, but it is basically a, a heavily grounding energy. Um, so it's somebody who is successful in the material world, however, they don't, um, you know, get pleasure from material things. They get pleasure from having people around them that love them. So the King of Pentacles is somebody who is like a fatherly figure, somebody who looks after uh, the family, provides for their material needs. Um, the Ten of Swords represents an ending, dark night of the soul, completion. So the masculine also got this on his side for the reading, the twin flame reading. So um, this represents, you know, finally releasing yourself from that mental prison and, uh, and going on a spiritual journey. So starting from 
from square one basically so it's a completion it's ending your your higher self is telling you to end something you're getting two tens here okay so your recent past position nice commitment oh my god so remember in the last week's twin flame reading this card showed up twice um, it showed up in the masculine's reading and the twin flame so this card represents being committed to a relationship or to an idea as well um, but it, it seems to me the masculine has reached out to the feminine in the recent past and offered his heart not for everybody the magician seven of pentacles and temperance wow so the magician card is major arcana number one it it's the master manifester so um the magician is someone whose crown chakra is activated okay and we saw that on the feminine side she had the magician in the present position so this is realizing your entire life is just an illusion it's something that's in your mind it's not actually out there you you are creating um you know you're taking in the sensory information the stimuli then your brain is processing that information creating an image in your mind and then you're able to experience so there's almost like a time lapse between what is actually out there and what you perceive to be out there so it is a, isn't a reality it is just an illusion okay so knowing that you can now create uh, the reality that you desire okay so the crown chakra activated connected to source um, you are pulling ideas out of the ether making decisions and manifesting and creating the reality that you desire brand new beginning the seven of pentacles represents the gestation period the pregnant pause uh, so you put a lot of work into the 3d and you were waiting for something to return so because this is showing up in your past position this would represent that the wait is over that you've attained something um, that has given you the abil ability to move forward the temperance card is my ultimate union card so the feminine got this twice in her past position so com further confirmation that there was a connection that occurred between you and your feminine um, that brought you your souls closer together so the temperance is the winding of the soul she is the s symbol in the yin and yang so coming together ultimate union so you have connected with your feminine and uh, the weight is over this card also you know represents being in the now in the moment whereas this card is a waiting energy so because this card is um, you know more in the distant position compared to this one it's like the weight is over and uh, the moment was now and um, something incredible was created as a result of it um, and it has to do with union and love okay so your present position ah so this card represents innocence so um, the masculine got the six of cups in his present position so it's that return to innocence it's um, pure love that a child feels for someone Aww, 1111 Aww, <laughs> Queen of Cups Oh, and the strength card how beautiful so I'm feeling this is how the masculine um, sees the feminine as this innocent child you know um, untouched unattached no expectations no nothing just a blank slate just pure um, the 1111 calling card represents the twin flame connection so um, you see the divine feminine as this beautiful child and also as the Queen of Cups so the Queen of Cups could represent a water sign 
uh, but this is the divine feminine being represented as this open, loving woman who has unconditional love for her masculine. Um, so it's unwavering, very centered, balanced love. The strength card is using love, kindness, and compassion uh, in order to deal with the situation. Situation. So when he, you know, in the present position, masculine, you see your feminine in this pure light. And it is her strength and her love that is drawing you towards her, towards this connection. So um, you, what I see here is that you have recognized that this relationship um, represents something far different than anything you've ever experienced before. Um, regular love relationship, you know, you meet somebody, you, you fall in love, and... Uh, you make a commitment. Um, but the twin flame connection is more of a 5D connection. So you come together to heal each other. And that's what the Queen of Cups is doing. She's, she's healing you by sending you these warm, loving vibrations, uh, which is reflective of the twin flame connection. So, oh my God, I want to cry. That's so beautiful. What is in your future position? movement forward so um, not only is this abundance coming towards you all those that work that you've put in in the past not only has that come towards you but you're continuing to move forward so it's very similar energy to the eight of Pentacles three of cups three of wands and six of Pentacles so um, the three, oh, we got three threes here. So the three represents union energy. Okay, so two coming together uh, to form a third energy, which is love. That's what this card is. So uh, the three of cups represents celebrating love, um, knowing you're in love because you can feel that energy moving through you. Uh, and it awakens you to a higher connection. Um, you know, you realize you're, you're connected to something much bigger than yourself because you feel love. The Three of Wands um, represents that waiting energy, but also feeling successful at the same time. Uh, so, you know, this was the crowning card for the Twin Flame Union. So it is uh, knowing that you're on the right path, um, because you can feel that energy moving through you as well. It's the Kondaluni awakening. Um, you know, the spiritual growth and awareness is welling up inside of you as well as this love. And it is that which is guiding you, uh, lighting your way in this journey. So the Six of, Cu or sorry, the six of Pentacles is um, my cohabitation card. So it's sharing your life with somebody in the 3D. Um, it also represents an even exchange of energy flow between you and another person, so giving and receiving. But I'm really seeing it as like um, you're moving towards this connection and you're drawn by love and drawn by spirituality and drawn by your inner knowing, but also you can see this abundance off in your future, this stability, and that's what's you know, helping you to move forward. Okay, so the message from the universe. Purity. Oh, beautiful. So, you know, this kind of re represents the pure soul, the pure spirit. Uh, but so does this card. Um, this is a, a childlike innocence and purity, whereas this card represents a mature, wise purity. Um, so this also talks about looking at your past and dealing with your past and, you know, in this um, honorable way, uh, looking at your past with, through wisdom. So let's see what else. Nice. Again, that wise energy. So that's a hermit, the knight of wands, and the king of cups. Oh my god. 
Okay, so um, the hermit is uh, somebody who detaches from society, from conditioning, from constraints, from the stories, from the characters, the identities, you know, and just cuts it away and goes off on their own. Okay, very similar to the Eight of Cups here, except for this is more of a that beginning stages, whereas the hermit is somebody who has been on... Um, on this journey for quite a while and has gained a lot of wisdom okay a lot of wisdom and knowledge and this that's showing up as well with this book so you've acquired a lot of wisdom and you're you're using that wisdom in order to move you in a different direction uh, so again with a hermit it's a detachment in order to um, understand your spiritual p path but to also to make your light um, shine brighter from within so that you ha can graduate to the high priest and share that wisdom with others so um, you know these two cards together is almost like that high priest energy the um, knight of wands is the blast out of the gate it is a movement forward on fire um, you know you're riding this fiery horse of passion so it's like you're moving towards this Queen of Wands, the object of your desire. So there's a sense that your um, the universe is sending you messages um, and telling you to tap into this incredible wisdom that you've acquired in order to free yourself from whatever attachments you might still have to the material world. So this is that chain being broken and, and a movement forward like with fury towards your higher calling your higher purpose your destiny so again one ener energy is spirituality so this is movement forward uh, spirit is telling you the time is now the uh, king of cups is the queen of cups um, other half so spirit is telling you um, that you are the other half of her soul um, you have this deep bond with each other, um, not only on you know your on a soul level, but on an emotional level. She connects you and awakens you, um, awakens your heart. You can feel it swelling and growing and expanding when you're around her. So um, again, this King of Cups represents pure, innocent love, uh, very deep love. It's, you know, Kurt Cobain who loved so much that um, he felt sad it hurt him so he's following his heart spirit is asking you to follow your heart and um, you know you are on the right path because of this repeated energy of you know the heart chakra as well as spirituality heart chakra of spirituality you know you're on the right path because of the way that it energizes you um, you know, when you're around your twin flame, it, it, it's, it awakens you, it inspires you. Um, you feel alive on every level. So, yeah, Spirit is saying time is now to move forward. And, you know, that doesn't necessarily need to be a material, like, 3D movement. It's, it, I'm seeing more of a spirituality uh, and connecting with your heart chakra movement. It's, you know, a shift in perspective. Okay, so what is in your environment? Aw, that's beautiful. So this is like the lover's card or the two of cups. It represents um, a very l deep loving bond. Um, so you can feel the feminine's love surrounding you always. Um, and, um, you know, because it's in your environment, it's, there's a longing energy associated with it. Aw, five, or sorry, the page of cups. Perfect. The chariot. And, oh, why does this card show up? Ah, oh, seven of swords. Okay, so the Page of Cups, this is the muse. Uh, so this is a person that people, uh, you know, poets write about and painters 
paint about. So um, the muse inspires the artist. Uh, this also represents communication. So this is Scott Pilgrim. Um, Scott Pilgrim um, desired a relationship with this one girl. So the whole movie is about him, you know, um, fighting uh, for this love. Um, you know, he's inspired to do all these things because of love. So the page is also a messenger, so it's communication. So maybe there's some open communication between you and your feminine that is making you feel love um, on a very deep level. Again, with the emotions, um, the chariot is a water card. So um, this card represents moving forward, very similar to the um, Knight of Wands. However, the Knight of Wands is an emotional card. But if you put these two cards together, it is very similar energy to the chariot. So the chariot, again, it's a movement forward towards your destiny. It is taking control of the reins and steering yourself. So it's, um, there's, you know, if you want something to happen, then you have to put effort into it. And that's what this card represents. It's determination. It is not letting anything stand in your way. So it's overcoming obstacles. Um, you know, being in the vortex, using the wave and the board in order to move you forward. So it's movement. Um, the Seven of Swords represents, you know, looking over your shoulders uh, to see if somebody is going to deceive you. So perhaps there's something in your environment that needs to be released um, that is blocking you from fully, you know, moving forward um, with doing the things that make you happy. Water is emotions. So it's, it has to do with, you know, make, doing the things that make you happy. Very similar to this nine of, of cups up here. You know, emotional bliss. You want to feel loved. You want to do the things that make you happy. You want to be with your feminine, but there's something blocking you. The seven of swords. And remember, you got the eight of swords in your present position for the twin flame reading. So you are choosing to believe that you are in a mental prison, that you aren't free, that something's stopping you. When reality, you create, um, you know, the reality that you desire. You already know this. You've learned that lesson already. So you have the power to free yourself. So what do you fear? You fear the feminine. This is the divine feminine. Um you know, in her woman form. So you see her as uh, innocent and pure, um, but also as this deeply loving, divine um, counterpart. But it, it scares you. Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. Five of Wands. And Third Eye Chakra. So the it's neat how we got two eyes here um the n nine of wands is the wounded warrior so um you're afraid of her because you've been hurt a lot in the past um this represents you know being knocked down over and over again and you're just you're too tired you don't want to carry on um you've been hurt too much the Five of Wands represents an obstacle or challenge. So there's something that you perceive to be stopping you in your way. But in reality, <clears throat> sorry, in reality, uh, it's an illusion, right? You just, you can believe that it is a major obstacle that you need to overcome. So it's all a matter of perspective. Um, this card, Five of Wands, is always meant to make you grow in some way. So it's a minor challenge. It's a minor disagreement. Um, but all, it's like I said, it's meant to make your light shine brighter. The um, third eye chakra is your intuition. So, you know, the high priestess is tapped into her inner knowing, her third eye chakra. Uh, she uses that chakra to act to access um, wisdom and knowledge that she's attained. So she's uh, connecting with her subconscious mind in order to do that. So um, 
I think spirit is asking you to look within, you know, instead of feeling this, this fear, this um, protective heart energy, because you don't want to be hurt, uh, instead look within and see how this connection is different than anything you've experienced before. Um, she represents unconditional love, and you know that deep down inside. If you look deep down uh, to the core of who you are, you'll know that um, what you're feeling is, is true. So don't resist her. Don't feel, uh, fear her. Um, she loves you no matter what, and she is with you always. So, um, yeah. This Nine of Wands also represents, you know, giving it that final push, finding that strength within you, the core of your, your soul, in order to um, give it that final push. So, I'm going to look at the bottom of this deck here for the overall message. Ending. So, again, something needs to end. Um, in order for this new to, ah, forget it, okay, sorry. <laughs> so in order for something new to come in, something needs to end. Okay, so we got this 10 up here, represents the ending, completion. Again, with the 10 of swords, your higher self is telling you to end something, to walk away. Ultimately, you have already made that decision, uh, but you need to take that first step, move forward. Um, so yeah, it's an ending, but at the same time, it is a, a renewal, a, a new beginning. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card from Mists and Mermaids. Okay, one card is being a bitch here at the bottom of this box. I'm just trying to grab it out. Oh my god. Uh, seashell Princess. Okay. For whimsy's sake, I long to live down along the sea, a million miles of sand to walk alone. Oh my God, just you and me, the smell of sea salt in the air, a sea sprung breeze of weather fair, each other's thoughts, our only care, a life of living free. Perhaps a sunny sacred strand where skies are always blue, a million pearls strung in my hair to show your, your love is true. The summer sun's forever hot. I found the one. Oh my God, I'm choking up. <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay, hold on a minute. I gotta catch my wits here. Okay. Whew. The summer sun's forever hot. I found the one I've always sought. Everything else now matter. Oh my God. <laughs> one minute. Okay, the reason why I'm choking up is because it. This is such a beautiful poem. I've read it before. I recognize the card right away as soon as I pulled it. Uh, so this, you know, this is this deep bond and love that the masculine is feeling. I'm, I'm almost, you know, reading it as if he's saying it to the feminine, okay? Um, telling her how much uh, he loves her. So I'm going to try to read it again without choking up. So I'm going to power through this. All right, here we go. Seashell princess, for whimsy's sake, I long to live down along the sea, a million miles of sand to walk alone, just you and me. The smell of sea salt in the air, the sea sprung breeze of weather fair, each other's thoughts, our only care, a life of living free. Perhaps a sunny sacred strand where skies are always blue, a million pearls strung in my hair to show love is true. The summer sun's forever hot, I found the one I've always sought. Everything else now matters not, as long as I'm with you. Okay. I did it. Okay, so I'll read the description. A doughy-eyed princess adorned with a bounty of the sea, daydreams to her, to her heart's content. She is romantic, a dreamer 
who listens intently to her own desires and has the passion to pursue them. Go after your heart's desire. This is a dream stirring in your heart that needs attention. You have felt drawn to follow it and nurture it, but you are having trouble letting go of practical considerations and diving into the unknown. Know, however, that while people reach for the stars, only the passionate actually uh, climb up and grab it. Um, look inside yourself and rediscover the dream that has been buried under the trappings of the day-to-day -day considerations and obligations. Reimagine the ideal life you're long for in the past years and write down the detail. Put it down on paper and make a commitment to your, your younger self to strive and dream once again. Oh my God, I'm blown away because that's exactly what I'm, I was feeling with the reading, you know, that return to innocence, that, um, you know, looking within yourself. I'm blown away. This is probably the most powerful reading I've ever experienced before. So thank you, Masculines, for bringing this message to the feminines. It's just absolutely beautiful. Much love. Namaste.